testing. Looks like we get a 1765 in the white pieces. Welcome to day 221 on my journey to 2000 ELO on chess.com. An opponent plays e5. I'm going to play knight f3. And they play knight c6. I'm going to play d4. I'll go for a scotch. And I'm going to play the scotch gambit. See what the opponent does. We're playing... Zuzu China. Hmm, I've seen this line before. Actually, what is the issue here? I can't remember exactly, but I'm going to play this. I'm assuming the opponent's going to take on d4. No. So this is sort of interesting because. I have e5 if I take the knight. So if I take the knight, I play e5. Where does the knight go? Kind of has to go back. The knight has to go back. Unless he takes it this way. In which case, do I take the queen? No, he doesn't take that way. So I guess the knight can jump in here because the pawn's there, but I don't think it's very good. Just loses another pawn. Okay, so that knight can go there, but what about this? Doesn't that just lose a knight? Then they have f4, f4, and then I take. I'm failing to see how this doesn't lose a piece. I don't see it. Maybe this. Oh, yeah, okay. I see it now, but then. What about this? This still, oh, then they take with the knight. No, they, yeah, they take with the knight and it protects. Okay, I see now. Yeah, I take with the knight. I sort of don't like this. I feel I, I haven't really gotten what I want out of the opening, but that's okay. I'm gonna castle and we'll be safe. We just traded a lot of pieces in the middle. I have this. Oh, actually, I should have taken that pawn, huh? Yeah. Whoopsie. Let's castle. Just, uh... Yeah. I wasn't looking for moves like that. That's a bummer. I need to get the knight out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bummer. That would have... It was just a pawn, I guess. It's not the end of the world. So the question I'm having right now is... Should I play bishop d5 and try to trade bishops? So bishop d5, bishop takes knight d5, threatening the bishop on e7. Or should I just go queen g7? The only thing I don't like about queen g7 
or queen g3, sorry, threatening to go bishop h6. And what I really don't like about that is one, he has bishop h4, but also knight f5 attacks the queen. So something like bishop or queen g4 makes a lot more sense. Queen g4. But my bishop is not as good as his. I don't like the idea of trading queens. I just don't like it. But his bishop is so active. He also has this move. To make it even more active. Or uh, less active. I mean, my bishop would have to go over here. So the, the question is, do I take with the queen to, to threaten this pawn? And then he's got to move the knight. And then he can't move here. He could move here, but then I take it. So the knight would have to go back. It can't. It could go here. So the only square that it could go to is here to save this pawn. And then that hangs the rook. So I think the pawn is dead if I take it the queen. Which they should have been my pawn anyway. Whoa. Alrighty. So I suppose I just try to, th I just threaten to take the knight and then take the bishop. I develop my bishop, or I develop my bishop to attack the pawn. That's another thing. I could do, and then the knight has to move, and it can't really move without dropping the knight. So let's do that. Let's attack the pawn. And in turn, make it so opponent can't move the knight. But he can now, because well, he can't because it drops the bishop. But now the bishop can take queen takes, rook can move back and not hang, or knight can move back and, and not hang the rook. Am I saying that correctly? Knight can move back, not hang the rook. I could take the pawn, but then rook takes b2. So maybe I take with the knight if he takes the bishop. Maybe I should have just taken the bishop in the first place and then put his knight in front of his pawn or uh, rook. I'm calling all of the pieces different names. I apologize. I like my position overall. I think I need to f do something. What is this? I don't know what this is, but I I don't know why why the queen is there. He might want to play this move. Takes takes. So I could trade here and bring the rook over.
I definitely, I think he wants to play c6. That's what I was trying to understand what he was doing, but c6 is the move. So if I take here, you can play c6, c6. But if I take and he plays c6, I just drop the bishop back. I actually want the bishop over here anyway. And then he's got this weird trick again. So maybe I take the bishop. If he takes with the rook, I'm happy. Let's take the bishop. Because if he takes with the knight, I have a tempo move. And if he doesn't take with the knight, I can take here and then put pressure here. So let's get the rook to the open file. Mm. Let's get the other rook in the game. Line it up with the queen. I didn't think this was a good move. So this, uh, let's see, no, I have this move to fork these pawns, I have this move to attack the bishop, the bishop probably goes here or here, oh actually if it leaves, oh, nasty, that'd be nasty. So on my wish list of moves, I have this, and then I, I'm noticing this this is a forking square of the king and the queen. So I'm thinking if I can chase the bishop away and it goes to like right here, and I and I just put my bishop there and he trades. Great. If he doesn't trade. So he's gotta sit he's gotta save the pawn or the bishop, and he's gonna try to do this. But what if I go here and just win one of the pawns? Am I playing hope chess by doing this? He just moves his knight, and then he takes on b2 as well. Uh, what about rook, rook d7? Rook d7? Rook d7. I'm going to go rook d7. I don't think it's a bad move, but I also, because I'm attacking this pawn, I'm attacking the bishop. So if he moves the bishop to save both, I'm then going to play this move with the idea to sack the rook or the, or the fork. So I'm going to double attack here, and I'm going to see what he does. He might take this pawn. And then in that case... guess it's fine I don't know I should maybe I should have done this or like played this move and then done this I don't know this is all kind of wishy-washy now why did I do this so if I take here no, that doesn't matter. Going here doesn't really matter.
just playing stupid moves. This. No. Uh, what do I do? So if I go here, he can take the knight. If I go here, he can take the rook. So what I was trying to set up is this fork if he takes the rook. And the only way to do that is to put my queen here or here. And I don't have access to either of those squares. Let me think about this for a minute. This whole idea was so stupid. I didn't have to do any of this, to be clear. Me and my big ideas. All right, I'm going to sack the rook for the bishop and a pawn. That's what I've decided. This is a stupid idea. And I'll probably lose because of it, but whatever. I technically could have taken this pawn real quick and takes and then uh, that doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I guess I could have taken the pawn maybe back here. So instead of. OK. So maybe I go here.
I don't have many ideas, but this would be one of them. He could, he could just take this pawn. These are not good ideas that I have today. They're not good ideas at all. Fresh out of good ideas. I didn't have to do any of this. I, well, my big mistake was going for this stupid plan involving putting my rook up here. This was just a terrible idea. I should have done the knight move. I think that was fine. Like had I gone knight, d5, and then bishop here, I could have played this move to threaten to take the bishop and then do the same thing, and then he's got to move his queen. So, just kind of a bad idea all around. Not, not a good one. Like, this doesn't even matter. I'm going to do it because it does make it so if he takes this pawn, he just gets checkmated, but I don't think it's a good idea. He can just go right. No, that doesn't work. He could blunder his queen. He's welcome to do that. I also don't like that my knight is on c7. This was just a uh, just a bad game. I don't like playing bad games. Oh, he's going to take my bishop, isn't he? What a jerk. So not let's not let him do that. Let's not let him take the bishop. He might go here, but then I have this knight move to threaten this fork again which maybe he doesn't see. So I attack the queen. And I can, and once he takes, I go here. He's gonna just take, oh, he's threatening to take my rook. I don't like when people want to checkmate me. You could say I'm not seeing a lot this game. You'd be right. Actually, he hung his queen. Yes. My dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hanging your queen. It took me a year to see that move. Like <laughs> a full calendar year. <laughs> 1820. I mean, what is what is chess these days? Why why do I keep winning? I do not deserve to win that game. I don't at all. I don't. Well, let's look at the game though cuz I'm interested if if that knight move was good. We're learning. We're learning. Just got to keep learning. So I played 84, opponent played in 83. It feels like that's not raw, not right, not right somehow. I don't know if they deduct extra moves for hanging your, or extra accuracy for hanging your queen. Can't even talk. So these are the best moves. It's a great move, great move. And then backing the bishop up here was my mistake. I should have gone to d3 probably. There's no games because grandmasters don't play like this. No, bishop b3 is the top move. Why does it say it's only good? I guess taking this pawn. Remember how I said I should have taken the pawn? But then he just gets free development. So maybe taking the pawn, not such a great idea. Look at that, I'm accidentally a genius. Knight c3. Bishop d5 best. And I should have taken the bishop, but I just developed my other bishop. Rook e1 was also good. Mm. 
now I take the bishop. B3, it says, was good here, so you can... Yeah, because I was noticing that that was going to hang. Rook A to B, A to D1. Wait, Rook A, B1. At D1. Tempo on the queen. B3 is still good. Especially because the queen is looking at the A2 pawn. I mean, the knight's there, but it's not always going to be there. I want to move that knight. Rook FD1 is the second best move. Queen over there is good. Looking at this pawn here. Knight D5 is good. Yeah, Knight D5. Rook E2 is actually... Yeah, Rook, Rook E2, not Rook D7. All right, Knight E5. So this is what I... Or D5. This is what I was looking at. Bishop D6. I want to get the bishop away from the square. So I was thinking about playing this move. And if, if bishop takes, we get this juicy, juicy check. So bishop here, and then the queen has to move. So the queen takes. But also, I wonder if... I was also looking at um, knight b5. Knight b5 is up there. It's not the best move for this. And then... Do you even want to take the pawn? Engine doesn't like taking the pawn. Yeah, this goofy constellation of pieces actually works. 94. That wait, wait, wait. 90 e4 was the better move. Attacking the bishop. And then what is this? Does this queen move still work? Oh, and then we just get two pieces for the rook. That's why. So my plan, the the rook move was bad, worse. I made it worse by playing this move. By playing knight d5. I should have played knight e4. So that way I could take the bishop and then take here. But I didn't see this queen move, which my opponent found. So rook e7 was the answer. How is that still equal? Rook e7, bishop takes e7. And then you, oh, you tempo the queen, can't take. But what if the queen goes here? No, it can't go there. So queen d6. And then you take check, king over. And then bishop c3, pinning this pawn. Yeah, so white still has an attack, I guess. You could, you could argue that white is still very much in this game. I think it's better for black, like just looking at the, the position. But let's uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look how I lucked out here. Wait, why is this such a bad move? It misses an opportunity to play f6. Bishop f4. It's still equal somehow. Bishop f4. Let's say queen takes. Queen g3. What am I? Oh, I'm setting up some kind of discovery on this rook. So I can go here. Let's say queen takes here. Knight d5. This rook moves. I'm just trying to think about what what maybe I would do. Rook B to C A. Let's say it goes here. I mean, that's just a forkable square. I don't understand why that's one of the better moves. 
D8, what is that? Bishop H6. Queen B2. That's the best move. What is going on here? Or not not G2 or G G6, Queen B2. What am I smoking? Knight C3. Bro, this is not real life. Seriously? And then you have to give up your queen. This is crazy. Wow, there's no way I would have found this line. This is what I say. It's it's when the engine thinks something is equal. And like, how am I ever going to find this idea? The only thing that saved me was my opponent blundered. And it took me literally, I, I don't know, you can look back in the video, 25 seconds to see this move. A free queen. I'm not playing another game tonight. No way. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, don't go for crazy attacks that you don't have to do. You know, play, play the moves that are good, that you know are good. Your opponent will mess up eventually. Just don't be the one to mess up first. So, see you tomorrow.